everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a good day. It was cold outside, but it was a good day. The sun shone, and the kids came. And for some reason, even though Jackie, who is motorcycle mama, she tells me every day what day it is. I hadn't gotten to her comments yet. And um, I forgot that it was Wednesday. And that's the day that the kids come. So the phone rings, and I go and answer it, and there's Jessica on the phone. She says, oh, good, you are home. And I hadn't unlocked the door so that the kids could get in because they come on Wednesdays to do their schoolwork. Well, while they were here, and they got their schoolwork all done, Paige wanted to work on some of the rubber bands and do bracelets and necklaces, and so she did that. And then she also wanted to draw a picture because one of her little friends' birthday is today, so she wanted to draw a picture. And I said, gee, maybe when you're done with your picture, you'd like to work on a book that I have, or at least maybe trace, because she had tracing paper, and I thought maybe she'd want to trace. So I went looking for that book, and when I went looking for the book, I found my plastic art books that I had been looking for. I don't know how long I've been looking for these. I've been looking for them for a long time. Well, this one's not a plastic but This one was with them. It's a little boy blue. It's finger play. It's a book that the kids could read. And when they're like, this is one little baby's rocking in the tree. And you're rocking motion with your arms and the hands. And you go back and forth. But then you go one, two, three, four, five. It's got the numbers five. But it's a cute little book. It's it's got a lot of finger play in it. But they're like little rhymes. But I found my plastic art. This is what I had been looking for forever. And then I said to Jim G, maybe I should show them some of my plastic art that I had done. Oh, and the book I was looking for <laughs> that I ended up finding those was this book. It's a book of patterns. And what it is is you could color you could color the patterns. They have part of it already colored, but you can color it in. And then she saw this, this pattern I had in it that was, and she goes, can I trace the word love? And I said, sure you can. So she was going to trace the word love, and I don't know if she traced anything else from this book. Then she asked me if I could laminate her picture for her friend, and so I laminated the picture for her friend. Okay, now those I will give to you. And I will show some of the stuff that I wanted to show. Now, when Je Emily was over, we were trying to figure out how did we used to do that plastic art, because we used to do a lot of it. And I couldn't find the books. And when Jim built the library, I thought, sure, I'd find them. Well, I was upstairs looking in my craft room. I don't know how many times. Well, it was never in the craft room. They were underneath the, with the phone books in my what I call now my antique room. It's really where the television is, but I keep my doors shut on my television, so you don't know I have a television. Unless you know I have a television. Mm. Well, now you know I have a television. <laughs> but anyway, she was making a box for her, her tarot cards, and this one we measured was too big. So I said, well, I'll keep it. And so I put my little knickknacks, like bobby pins or little, I don't know, scissors in here. I put little things. This is on the counter all the time. But it's, it's a nice little neatness of, of it. But um, the book that I wanted to show you, the book I wanted to show you is this book that I made with the plastic art. This was made a long time ago. And this one was when I was doing foster care. I kept all my, my um, foster care stuff in here. There's my rules, rules and policy for visitors of, up to our home. And then I have all on this other side, I have all my boarding home registry books that I still have. They, they said they would collect them and they never did, but that's okay because I've got them still if they ever want them. And then I've got folders that I used to keep their receipts in, in the manila for, folders. But this was my foster care book. And see, the back is different than the front. And this was one of the books that I made. But then I... Okay, you can have that. But then... You got some of the collector. You're the collector. Yeah, we got to put all the stuff away, which is a joy. <laughs> you know, you gather all the stuff, then you got to put it all away. Okay. Well, 
I liked the pattern that I used on that book, so I did this. Now, a lot of you will probably think that this is those iron dots. No, it's not. These are, well, let me show you first. This is the container that I keep them in. I, no, I didn't eat these cookies. They're, they were containers that have the division in it, so when you, when you put your the beads that I'm going to show you that I made out of paper. When you put them inside here, they've got the, the thing goes all the way to the cover so that the beads stay separated. But these are containers that I, I saved. So nothing, everything has a purpose. And those were used for these. This is actually paper beads. I have lots of paper beads. You want to hand me that other one? And I tried to divide them up, and any time we got some paper, like when we went to church, there would always be a insert in it, and the insert was always a different color. So I started just, I had a ruler, and I cut, made lines with the ruler, and I, you can take those, and I would take my scissors and just cut, and then i take a needle, and I would wind them on the needle. These are all paper. So if you don't, ha you know, like a lot of them have those plastic ones where you have to put them on the little stand and thing, and, and, uh, and then you use your iron and. But these are all, these are all paper. <laughs> They're so little. These are paper. Paper. So that, and I made another. I made another picture with the paper. This one was from a coloring book. And what it was is it was a perfume bottle and a perfume bottle or something. I don't know. A spray bottle. Spray and bottle. A and a splash bottle. Yeah. And I did this. And this is all with those paper beads. Now this one I used the, when I made the lines on the paper, I used the same color, colored pencil. And it looks cleaner. This one I used just a regular number two pencil and the yellows look dirtyish. I can tell. I don't know if you can tell on this on the on the thing or not, but it's it was dirtyish. So we're gonna make a thumbnail out of this maybe. <laughs> okay, good enough. Uh, and I was talking about that I found my plastic art books were among the phone books. You can make stuff out of your phone books too. This is a little container. I I brought this in because. I have to glue the top back on. This came off. I have to hot glue it back on. But it's this is just a little container and I made I made little turtles and all it is is paper that you wound and glue and then you just put it together and they're hard as a rock. They're Ooh. really they're really hard. You wound those into like little straws and then flattened them, right? And then you yeah, I flattened these and then I made the so and this goes on top. It would look like that. So, yeah. And uh, and you put this little extra ridge to give it a so that when you put the cover on, the cover is on. It's not gonna slip off. It's actually in there. So that's what today's video is crafting. I guess that's it. I'm mm -hmm. all done. <laughs> I hope you all found something that you think may inspire you to do. And you don't need money to do these. This is with a phone book and just glue. You could actually use flour and water, make a paste and do it like that. It will work. I used Elmer's glue, but I actually bought school glue because when I when you get done with these, a lot of times you like to paint them with Mod Podge. Well, Mod Podge is pretty expensive. So what you do is you mix a little bit of water with the glue to make it a little bit looser and then you use a paintbrush and just paint over it and let it dry. So you do that. But this is this was phone books and those were just paper inserts from from the church bulletin. And the plastic art is something that I, I enjoy doing. That is the only one that would cost you some money if you had to if you were to do that because you have to buy the, the sheets and the yarn. So that's my video for today. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.